So this is another example of application of the derivative from physics. Q of t equals CV times the quantity 1 minus e to the power of negative t over RC. And this is the equation for the charge building up on a capacitor in an RC circuit. That is to say, a circuit that has a, both a resistor and a capacitor. Now, of course, you would not be expected to know this formula. We, you would not be expected to understand the physics of the formula. But you might be given a formula like this and be expected to take the derivative. It turns out that the derivative of charge with respect to time is current. And so you could be given this equation and be asked, find the current. Well, the current function, I of t, equals Q prime of t equals CV. Now, the derivative of 1, of course, is 0. And then we have the negative sign. Then we have the derivative of the exponent. So that's negative 1 over RC times e to the t, negative t over RC. Multiplying everything out, we get the two negative signs cancel. So we get CV over RC e to the negative t over rc, the c's cancel, and we get v over r times e to the negative t over rc. And so as the charge builds up and approaches an asymptotic limit, what's happening to the current, it starts at an initial value, and the initial value, v over r, is actually determined by Ohm's law. And then it drops from that initial value and asymptotically approaches zero. And so this is an example of the derivative in an electric circuit.